everybody welcome to this tutorial I'm gonna keep this one really quick uh, working on my add-on here of course it doesn't really take up a lot of space and when you drop in something like UV sphere and then everything's gonna show up and of course you can just minimize it now this version isn't out yet and I'm working on some other things with it but one of the cool things I'm working on this is gonna be something that's uh, somewhat similar to hard ops once I get it done is you can select a couple of spots here and then select edge loops all the way around and I think that's gonna be a pretty big deal and then you know you can control B bevel that split that out a little bit extrude faces along normals make some neat little cuts into your mesh stuff like that now I'm gonna actually just kind of go control Z back out of there also a neat function within here is if you go to face select uh, you're now able to select in edit mode and smooth out faces so when you come out you have selected faces smoothed right here and face select here and then if i go ahead and now checker deselect this and then flip those normals and then you can see that and that looks pretty good then you can of course do whatever you want to do with those because there's a lot of reasons for flipping the normals and it's just one of quite a few little options that I am adding this one and then if I want to bring the cursor to the selected area then jump out and I want to bring the origin point up there bring it to the 3d cursor of course you can rotate it from that area now it's kind of cool and I'm also working on some other parameters here. I'm just going to go ahead and shade that flat to bring it back. And of course, I could shade smooth, auto smooth. And I did flip those normals. So obviously, they're looking a little funky. And could probably just control Z back. There they are. And I will go ahead and flip those back to normal and then shade flat and auto smooth and shade smooth. You know, and I could do all that, but I'm gonna leave it shade flat for now. Just kind of playing around here and fast tracking through this. Uh, so now, if you want, you could actually hit the remesh, which is fun. And right here inside of the add-on, you can just switch it to blocks, have a little bit of fun, bring the octave, uh, the octree depth up. Now, be careful. This is like subdividing, so it could really kind of, you know, get crash the computer. So just be careful. And now you can kind of play around with the scale here, make some neat little effects. I don't know if you know anything about Qbert, but uh, you know, it's kind of reminded me of Qbert here, maybe on a global scale, right? And so you can do a bunch of cool things with that. And as always with the um, cursor, well, it's back now, but I can just bring that back to geometry. So if I want to bring it over here. Boom, you can see where it's at and then back to the center and it's back in the center now. And some of those little pesky things to get to, like I want to move fast, right? I don't want to keep playing around with stuff. So maybe I just want to make a neat little inset right here. And then I want to just subdivide the heck out of that and then go to loop tools, maybe. And add that as a circle, maybe scale it down, maybe extrude it in. Uh, let's hit F to fill the faces, maybe fix up the geo just a little bit like that. And then you've got this nice little look, right? And from here... You know, you could maybe just grab this outer edge and bevel. And see, it's not really letting me select that. This is kind of like a fake out bullion, so you just don't have to do it that way. You don't have to cut a bullion. You know, kind of select, there's too many uh, pieces coming in right now. And you can um, hit the select edge loops to go ahead and close that and finish that up. So that's pretty cool. And you can go ahead and add a nice little chamfer in here. And I do have some... Uh, geometry is kind of messing up because of that so it may not bevel perfectly but this is actually a good example here this is how my add-on works right now so if i select something a loop inside of this weird cut where it's not connecting and i select uh, select the loop here and maybe one right here here and we'll just select one here and then i'll hit select edge loops and it will select the entire thing so those and very difficult to get around loops you know this will definitely help you and i think i can get away with a little tiny chamfer right there doesn't look too bad yeah that's fine looks fine i can go in and fix that geo if i wanted to but this is not something kind of serious so there you go and that's the select edge loop function which uh, is going to have 
a little bit more power later on. That's why I'm kind of just demoing it out right now. Then, of course, we can uh, bring up the wireframe here, kind of check out what's going on. We can show the access. And then the show in front will get rid of the grid lines and things like that. So you can actually see your mesh, and it doesn't, um, doesn't allow those grid lines to kind of intersect in front of your mesh, which is such a pain. And then I can check my um, normal see if everything is looking peachy and it looks good so that's nice and then of course you can throw in let me go ahead and switch that back to 30 i'm having too much fun and you can throw in a uh, number of different modifiers whatever you want to do anyway it's just a quick little tutorial to show you guys how this thing's coming along and i can't wait to release it the select edge loop thing it's a big deal because now you can go in and just select like random places you know around it that would normally be very difficult and select the edge loop and actually i don't have to select all those i can just select one here and it selects it because that's a pretty good loop but for the more difficult ones just grab one two three four boom, select it and you're done and so that's it thanks for watching guys and i'll see y'all in the next tutorial lesson